There was also a memorial service held at McDill Air Force Base today. This one, though, honored those that were buried around a century ago at Port Tampa Cemetery, a black cemetery that was destroyed when the base was built in the late 1930s. 10 Tampa Bay's Emerald Morrow has been investigating since the base learned of the burial ground. She shows you what's being done to make sure that those lives lost are honored. More than a year after learning about a destroyed black cemetery here at McDill Air Force Base, the base commander joined with other airmen, local dignitaries, and the community to honor the souls. Time for God. Amazing. This is really the culminating event to acknowledge what, was, what happened in the past so that we can move forward in greater unity and strength. Today's ceremony of song and deep reflection paid long overdue tribute to those buried at Port Tampa Cemetery, a cemetery for African Americans that was destroyed when the base began construction in 1939. This was so important that the military, this base, said, let us step up and be the first in remembrance of the loved ones that was forgotten. Loved ones like those Hillsborough County Judge Lisa Campbell are left to mourn today. In any culture expects that you would be able to come see your loved ones if you wanted to. In this case, that didn't happen. Campbell recently learned her grandparents buried a stillborn child at this cemetery. She says it's hard for her to believe no one knew the cemetery was here when the base was being built. But upon learning of the cemetery more than a year ago, MacDill said it was determined to right the wrongs of history. And as today's ceremony came to an end, a new marker was unveiled so no one ever forgets those resting here again. That's been the journey is to acknowledge the ugliness of the past, but to do it with greater hope looking toward the future. Well done by McDill to honor those lives that have been lost and built over. On that newly dedicated plaque, Judge Campbell has a quote that reads is this, through the curtain of time, we find you here in infinite peace. Our Emerald Morrow has done an incredible job investigating a pattern of destroyed black cemeteries in our area. Over the last year, archaeologists have found nearly 300 graves from Zion Cemetery at Robles Park Village and two neighboring businesses, 145 more detected at a field at King High School, 54 at an old school in Clearwater, and at least 70 more at a business a few miles away. There are also reports of lost cemeteries in Odessa as well as the Tropicana Field. And you can catch up on all of Emerald's incredible reporting and those investigations right now at 10tampabay.com slash erased.